What is up guys? It's Jake and first off before I start this video I want to apologize for not making a video on Thursday like I said I would. I'm working on this new video, this new skit Beyblade video that I think that y'all are really really gonna like that is taking a little bit more time than I thought it would. So that'll probably be up within the next couple of days but first I have a really interesting topic that I would like to discuss with y'all. And it's the topic of, is Beyblade back? Now, Beyblade's been back for quite a while. It's been back mainly in Asian markets. There's been Beyblade Burst, and that's been out for a little over a year. And then the, the anime show has been out for probably like five or six months now. And the thing is, I always, I kind of held off. I held off on making more um, than just the ones I already bought because I felt like, I felt like Beyblade was dying. I felt, okay, it's gonna be like another zero G situation. It's gonna, you know, get a little bit of popularity and then it's gonna drop off significantly. It's just gonna go like, <laughs> just like zero G did. And it, it was just awful in the US. Like nobody bought, nobody bought Shogun Steel, Shogun Steel, which is their crappy version of zero G. Nobody bought them. They stopped carrying them in stores. And that is when I realized that Beyblade, you know, it's 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 in my, it's done. It's probably done. And then I got a comment on one of my YouTube videos saying, you know, they're bringing Beyblade Burst to the U.S. in ne or next month, right, or something like that. And I was like, you yeah, know, that's not, that's not true. They're not going to bring it back. It's not it's not popular enough to. It died off. It's probably going to be a few more years. Same as what happened between the plastics and then metal fusion. It's probably going to be like four or five years. And then it's going to come back, probably. And it's going to be remarketed. And then I googled it. And then I found this. I found an article from investor.hasbro.com. And this is what it said. We are thrilled to continue our long-standing relationship with the Beyblade franchise for the launch of new Beyblade Burst line, said Jerry Perez, Senior Vice President of Marketing. Uh, the innovative battle battling play of the burst component along with the exciting new series will help make this property a favorite for Beyblade fans. And then there's new publishing rights for the for the actual TV show, something about sun rights and D rights and whatever. That, that, that part doesn't matter. But it's coming back, which is cool. It says, this is an article back in February, by the way, that I never actually read at all for some reason. I never actually saw it. Later this year, Hasbro will distribute a new generation of, of Hasbro Beyblade toys in North America, followed by a broader launch in most major international markets in 2017. Later this year, this is as of February, many, many months ago, they're going to have brand new Beyblade toys out in the U.S. And that's crazy. I didn't think it would happen that fast. I think it's been maybe two years since... I think it's been less. I think it's been like a year and a half, maybe, maybe two years since it dropped, since Shogun Steel and those Bay Wheels, whatever the crap those things were, whatever they sucked, died off and they pulled them out of stores. I thought there was going to be more of a gap. I thought maybe 20, late 2017, early, early 2018 is when they were going to drop in the U.S., but it's a new generation. It's not like they're continuing it. It's the third generation of Beyblade, so they're treating this as kind of like a new kickstart to it. I'm not sure if that's what they did in Japan, too, but I'm pumped. I'm actually pumped. I didn't know it was going to happen. I'm actually pumped. I feel like this, hopefully, if it's marketed right and it's done right, uh, if it's done as well as Metal Fusion back then, is going to be big. It's going to be a big thing again. Um, the new generation for all newer kids, um, and I, I'm excited. I'm pumped for it, and I'm definitely gonna pick up a lot of them, if not every single one of them. I was never really known on YouTube for unboxing the Takara Tomi Bays. I did a few of them here and there for like Hell Kerbix, and then um, I think I did one for Basalt Herosium too. And then a few others, like Quetzalcoatl, but I never actually delved too deep into it. I was always the one that unboxed Hasbro stuff. And that is where I got my followings, where a lot of you guys came in, is because, I don't know, I felt like there was a lot of other channels that could do Takara Tomi, and for a lot of kids, those are inaccessible. Like, for a lot of 
kids or even teenagers or even adults, not saying you're all kids or anything, that um, getting buying stuff on eBay or maybe even Amazon, I don't know if they have it on Amazon, that, that was kind of inaccessible to some people. Not everybody could order them. Like, for example, like my mom hated buying stuff on eBay. She just hated it because they had gotten scammed. She, she and my grandma had gotten scammed so much by people sending pebbles and rocks and not doing returns. And so, and I wanted to focus on the market that Hasbro sold to because you could just go up to Walmart or to Target or Kmart or whatever, whatever sold Beyblade toys and buy one. And then hopefully if you watched my review, my unboxing of it, you know what you're going to get. And you know that it's not, you know, a piece of doo-doo like freaking Storm Capricorn. I hated that base so much. That bay was absolute garbage. I'm really pumped. Uh... I'm going to buy a lot of them, I'm going to unbox a lot of them, and then hopefully, and I'm going to battle them and everything, just like how I did back in 2012, 2011, and I'm excited, and I hope you guys are excited too. Thanks for watching this little or long rant video where I just wanted to talk to you guys face, face to camera, face to face, and tell you that I am going to do more. I'm going to do Beyblade Burst, and I'm really pumped for it. Hopefully they release the app thing. That'd be really cool. They release like that that app, that bay logger that plugs into your phone. Though the wasn't available in my country, so I never really got too big on that. But hopefully that's there, and I think that's gonna be really, really big. Hopefully. So thank you guys for watching. Have fun and keep awesome.